We've changed our story. We moved most of our fish indoors. Can't wait to show you in a second. Greg's turtle topio. <laughs> Woody, the alligator snapping turtle. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Why wouldn't everybody want a pond? Here's me 30 years ago. And yeah, here I am now eating Cheetos. But <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape, and I'm doing a special edition here in front of our Design and Inspiration Center, also known as our retail store. Come with me and let me show you all the new things that we've done with our store, how things have grown, how things have matured, and some of the new additions. Come on. Before you go into the front door, we have our outside area. This is where we keep all of our aquatic plants. So you come in, you see some of the giant elephant ears. A lot of people don't know these. These will grow directly out of the water. We've got some tropical lilies, got a bunch of hardy stuff, and then we have some fish. Now one thing you're probably gonna notice is our fish selection. We used to have about 17 tanks out here. Now we've just got a few small koi out here, goldfish, shabunkins, everything else. We moved most of our fish indoors, which I can't wait to show you in a second. It's a great place to interact with our signature pond. You can see the fish are always waiting to be fed. So when I feed my fish, I like to use Aquascape's premium color enhancing fish food pellets. <laughs> No, but really, it's awesome fish food. The fish love it, and the color enhancing stuff really brings out the colors in all the fish. But watch, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Why wouldn't everybody want a pond? Like, that's just fun. That'll be enough today. Look at the tummy ache otherwise. So the pond right now is probably in its fullest potential. You can see all the different water lilies over here. We really compare this to kind of Monet's garden. I think there's some like 50 different varieties of water lilies in this section here alone. If you look up way in the distance, you can see our recreational side of the pond where we've got the big tall waterfalls. Well, that side's super deep. That side's about 13 feet deep. This side's only about four to five feet deep in the deepest section. So we've got a lot of lilies, a lot of koi over in this area. That side's more for fun. Well, let's go inside, show you some of the major improvements we've done inside. So every day I get to see this place and I walk in the exact same way you guys just walked in. When we designed the place, we designed it to be greeted by, of course, waterfalls, waterfalls, waterfalls. So you see a waterfall that we put in, I don't know, it seems like 10-ish years ago. Nice little pondless waterfall, super simple little drops comes down, disappears under our mahogany like boardwalk that we've created. As you move around a little bit this way, you're gonna see Greg's Turtle Pond. The whole company started on Greg's addiction for turtles and his hobby for keeping turtles. So of course we had to honor Greg the Pond Guy and build him his own little turtle pond. And there's tons of turtles in here. So we've got these guys here. There you go. These are Koi Crunchies. If you really want to teach your fish how to eat out of your hands and really get them used to, these are great little treats for koi, but don't make it their diet. It'd be like me eating Cheetos for the rest of my life. So far, everything's the same. The biggest thing you're going to see difference is right behind me. If you can remember less than a year and a half ago, that used to be a green wall over there. Since then, because Greg's slight addiction to turtles, he acquired one of the largest turtles I've ever seen. Woody, the alligator snapping turtle. And I think he's like 85 pounds. He's probably like 75 years old, but we built them him this enclosure it was just a big giant tank we couldn't figure out how to hide it we brought in kyle and garth from timberworks they came up with a very creative idea making it look like it's a giant shipping container woody he's actually on the other side which is why we put two windows in but he's pretty awesome he's certainly an intention getter which i think is why greg put him in so you can't believe how every kid and every adult turns into a kid doing this looking inside there to check out Woody. We've got a big signature pond over in here. We've got some large koi in here. They kind of go back and forth. You can also tell that these guys get fed all the time. So they're always looking for food as well. 
We really use these ponds more as an example on how our filters work. So we've got our skimmer box over here. The whole thing's filtered with a 6,000 biofalls up on top. We've added a spillway bowl just to show how you can constantly keep evolving and making your pond that much better. If you look off into the distance, we've got our set of three spheres. One to show not just what three spheres look like, but the different sizes and really how much space it actually takes up. One of my favorite areas is something that most people don't see because it's behind everything else. I love the trio of spillway bowls kind of working together here. One falling into another, the other one falling into the same common area, all done with a pondless system that we can create. We're down in our sunken patio area. If you move up this way, you're gonna come up a couple stone steps across the flagstone patio. You'll be greeted by a small little pondless waterfall. I love this waterfall because it shows how cool a waterfall can be with like eight rocks. But I think the whole idea with our retail store is show the different potentials and how everybody can live with a water feature at some level. If we go back down the stairs, you'll see a slightly larger pondless waterfall. So here's using closer to 15 to 20 rocks. Just past that, we've got some of our newer products our stack slate walls. You've seen our stack slate urns, you've seen our stack slate spheres. We figured why not make a wall out of them? What I like about these is they're linkable. So here's a joint, here's a joint, here's a joint, which means you can keep stacking, 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 going further and further and further. We have curved ones and the sound of this, if we really concentrate on it, is extremely soothing right next to a small patio or a rooftop garden or a townhome type association type feel. So I love, love, love these things. And you can see with our color changing lights, another new product that we have since I've last seen you guys, how that just really lights up this wall. And it'll make the little drips look like silver's almost falling off this thing. It has just such a distinct feel. And if you don't like blue or purple, switch it to orange, switch it to green, switch it to yellow. There's like every color under the rainbow with those color changing lights. We move this way, you'll see we still have our basalt columns. Basalt columns will always be a classic Aquascape product. Still have that architectural feel, but because it's a natural stone, will fit in a lot of small spaces and almost blend in with any type of setting. Love those, same thing. When you put those colored lights underneath there, it really accentuates that water dripping off and it looks like silver is falling off the thing. So as we walk back to the fish retailing area, you'll see this. And this is what I'm talking about, combining a lot of those products together. We have some of our old curved stack walls. We have some of our patio bowls that have been retrofitted to get little horsetail falls. So not only are the colored lights really cool, but you can control all of the colored lights and some of our newer pumps from your phone. So we've set up an iPhone here and with this, I can spin any color I want. You can see the color is now green. Now it's going to blue. And it's the only colored light in the industry that actually has a white option. So pretty cool, but not as cool as some of the changes that I keep telling you about. Look at it this way. So I'm going back here. That wall used to have our timeline on it. We moved our timeline up to cover the big steel beam that runs through the entire office area here. I like it because you can actually take the journey as I have through Aquascape. There's me in 1995 when I first started with a really cool haircut. Here's me about 30 years ago. And yeah, here I am now eating Cheetos. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we moved that and then we opened this whole area up. We painted the walls to tie into everything back in there. We put in some new shelving. So now we have a whole area to show off all of our lights. We've added some pallet wood and kind of, we stained it, wrapped it around the corners, all with the idea of leading you back into our fish experience area over here. through you'll see our baby turtles to the right you'll see our wall of fame to the left so as we come into our new area you're gonna be greeted by the koi window <laughs> it is definitely an eye-catcher I mean you see this thing all the way from the other end of the retail store and everybody comes up knocks on the window a little bit and then of course they want to feed the fish you come in over the top like this you'll see how tame these guys are they don't even know my finger from a koi crunchy kind of feels like a broken vacuum cleaner, suck it on your finger a little bit. This project was Chris Hansen and I's project during COVID last year. We came back here and said, well, 
we're gonna build this big koi pod here. We'll reintroduce the way we retail fish. We wanna create a totally different buying experience for our customers. And so this is what we came up with. As we come back over this way, we have some more Japanese imported koi. A lot of them are on the smaller end. In fact, all of them are on the smaller end. But what I like about these fish over here, eventually will be the same size as those fish. And when I say eventually, it can happen in as short as two to three years, just depending on how much you feed them. But we have all kinds of fantastic fish in here. We have kohakus, we have showas, we have sankis, we have asagis all the different types of Japanese koi you could think. Really, it's like picking out a piece of art. Which piece of art speaks to you the most and that's how you should choose your fish. You're gonna notice the kind of wooded theme. We've got this big giant cedar pergola over the top of us. The intent of that was to try to lower the warehouse ceiling down to make it feel more intimate in here. We've got these really great sanded down live edge redwood slabs. So you can lean up over the top of this, see some more fish. And then we've got Greg's turtle topia over here. And so at one point we had an Asian water monitor and we built it with the intent of having the Asian water monitor and all of Greg's prize turtles kind of cohabitate together. The Asian water monitor was more of an escape artist than he was a cohabitator. <laughs> so he left over and over again. And for the life of me, even a year later, I still cannot figure out how that thing would get out. But after the eighth time of that thing getting out in the entire warehouse having to shut down to go find him. Oh, 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 oh no! We said, why don't we find a better home for him? So somebody came, they volunteered to take him, and he's now living in a fantastic home in Michigan. But we still kept the turtles. You can see we've got a soft shell here. We've got some red-eared sliders, some other musk turtles and things in here. But remember, the reason for all this glass was to keep that Asian water monitor in there. I would love nothing more than to find something that can kind of live in here with these turtles and have a purpose for this glass. But it's still a pretty cool enclosure. We built the stairs so you could come down this way and get a much better view of looking down at the koi because when you're standing here, you get a really good view of how big some of these fish are. Originally, Greg wanted this as a rock pond. He wanted to swim in it. And I think he did it two or three times right away. And then the novelty of it got old and he's dirty. And we wanted to protect the fish and keep him from giving the fish diseases and stuff. <laughs> so a definitely totally different buying experience than the fish buying experience we had outside. Hopefully you guys like it. If there's anything else you guys think we should ever put inside of our store, let us know. We're always looking to change, evolve, and adapt and make our store that much better of a place. If you guys don't live in the Chicagoland area, make it a family trip it's kind of a cool place hey hope you guys enjoyed this if you're in the area come by stop visit if I'm here I'd love to get a chance to talk with you too my office is just right there so feel free to knock on the door hope to see you guys soon have a great summer bye